welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. State-owned Donnell this week published its results for the 2015 financial year. Keith Campbell joins me to discuss some of the entity's successes. Hi, Keith. What were some of the financial highlights? Well, the company is... Uh, made profits again. I think this is the fifth year in a row that's made profit. Its uh, revenues reached 5.85 billion rands, which is a 28% increase uh, over last year. Net profit was 270 uh, million rands. Its order book stands now at 35 uh, billion rands. So it's showing steady improvement. Well, 28% is, is, is not just steady improvement, it's a significant jump. And the management and board are both confident that the company is now on a sustainable growth path. So the news, the news uh, in terms of uh, the, the financials, in terms of the orders, uh, is, is very good indeed. It's excellent, actually. Danelle also provided some insight into its mandate. Can you tell us about that? Well, yes. Uh, Danel has a uh, multifaceted mandate, but uh, the, the key mandate that uh, the CEO Ria Salucci highlighted is that it is uh, recognized by the government and identified by the Defense Review released last year as the custodian uh, in South Africa for certain key defense technologies in uh, areas, for example, uh, uh, like command and control, uh, information systems, uh, and of course, also uh, unmanned air vehicles, guided missiles, and, and other systems. But in particular for command control systems and increasingly for maritime systems. It, uh, if you want, it's the holder of the intellectual property in uh, the country's intellectual property in these sectors. Indeed, it is in process of uh, purchasing a major stake, in the words of the outgoing board chairman, Marty Janssen van Rensburg, in an, another South African company which operates in the command control space, operates in the command control sector. Uh, uh, for the purpose, uh, uh, Ria Saluji explained, of consolidating South African IP in the command control sector in a state-owned company. So that is uh, the primary mandate of Donnell. Uh, you know, it, it also assists uh, with the national development, with skills development, so on. But the, the primary mandate is to hold, to develop uh, this uh, intellectual property in the defense and aerospace sectors. The CEO further provided an update on the Nell's future plans for the Royfalk. What are these plans? Well, the Danel Royfalk attack helicopter uh, has proven to be a major success in actual operations. Uh, a flight was deployed to the Democratic Republic of the Congo to support the United Nations peacekeeping forces uh, there and saw action against rebel groups and was very, very effective. Indeed, uh, it uh, played a major role in persuading the rebels to abandon uh, armed conflict and uh, lay down their arms. Now, there only are 11 Roy Falks in operation. Uh, the Nell only ever built 12 production examples, one of which was written off in a landing accident. The aircraft, as Soluji pointed out, is now actually quite old. So there are two things uh, under consideration. They have what they call the roadmap for the Roy Falk, which uh, they've been discussing with the South African National Defence Force and with the Department of Defence. The, the one thing is to upgrade the existing aircraft, to modernize them. The second thing is the potential to launch a program to build what they call a Mark II Roy Falk. Though uh, Saluji said that this would be a new aircraft, 
but based on the original. So it might be better to conceive of it as a new generation Roy Falk. Um, that obviously will take money. Uh, that is under consideration by the, the Department of Defense and the S&DF because they will have to come up with the money. Uh, and Danell is hopeful that a decision will be made within the next six months, both on the upgrade and on the uh, possible Mark II version of the aircraft. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.